Well, um, I am a physician scientist and an academic neurologist. I lead um, national and international initiatives in global health and neurology. I am also very privileged to lead a great team of clinicians and, and researchers who are addressing some of the pressing challenges in neurology and global health. We, um, whenever we think about a project or initiative, we are thinking about how do we address the most vulnerable and, and the marginalized populations of the world. And when we say that, we are very privileged and, and honored to be in Australia where we have access to wonderful resources. But many countries around the world and underprivileged communities don't have that access. And coming from a very humble beginning myself, I've always been passionate about how, what, what can I do to make a difference in that community which is the most vulnerable in, in, in around the world. And in, in any mission or any task I lead or be a part of, I always think about it, that how do we bring service to our work and community? And that's been very much part of my life and my journey. I was born in India and um, we had very limited resources because my parents had to, my, my, my parents coming from a lower middle class background, they had to look after three children. And um, my grandfather, who was at that time, uh, has always been my anchor in life, but he's not there anymore. Um, we had very limited resources. I used to go to school, and I still remember I used to walk five kilometers with one shoe in the entire year. And the shoe would get torn as we walked because it used to be very hot, and we used to walk five kilometers. Um, and many times some teachers will say that your shoe is torn or and we had very limited resources to change it. Um, and, um, but, and, you know, we didn't have private tuition. So it was always that I used to study myself. I used to teach my brothers and sisters. And we worked incredibly hard to, um, uh, to, to compete and, and get scholarships. Without scholarships, I won't be here. And I think I'm, I'm very grateful and, and, and thinking about all those mentors and people who supported me in that journey. Well, uh, after India, I moved uh, to Spain. Um, I, I got the Marie Curie Fellowship, which is a prestigious fellowship from, um, and again, one of my great uh, inspiration, Marie Curie, who was a Nobel Prize winner. I uh, was, uh, I, you know, honored to work with some of the great trailblazers in Europe. Uh, I studied in Netherlands, in Germany, in Spain, and before I moved to Australia. In Australia, I moved 10 years ago, and I spent the couple of five years first, four years in Newcastle, working at John Hunter and University of Newcastle. And then I moved to Sydney and uh, I'm in a part of the Sydney, which is culturally very diverse and, you know, ethnically very diverse as well, and very privileged to, uh, to contribute and make a difference in the community, which is uh, marginalized and, and, you know, and has um, carry a huge burden of neurological diseases as well as other diseases. Um, uh, so that's very much part of the journey. My advice is that if a boy like me can do it, all of us can do it. Um, we can do it together. Believe in yourself. You have got an incredible um, you know, aptitude and opportunity to discover and achieve whatever you want in life. And I think there is a scientist and a clinician in every each one of us. It's about realizing the potential uh, that we all have. But doing that, please think about people and community. Please think about service. And, and that service mindset will drive innovations to where it should actually belong. Innovations that can make a sustainable change in people's life. That's what it is. Mm -hmm.